Hi, in this video I'm just going to give you and share some ideas about how you might um, improve your speed of playing on the Roly Seaboard block. So looking at a few, I don't like to use the word technique, but a few gadgets, a few arm movements that you can use to help you play uh, much faster and uh, get the most out of your out of your block. Okay, let's dive in. Let's have a look at a few playing gadgetries uh, that I think I use which might help you get round the seaboard block a little bit more effectively. So let's use something called a C pentatonic scale. A pentatonic scale has got five notes. If we do it in C, it'll be this bottom note, then the next raised one, the next raised one after that, a gap, and then the next raised one, and that raised one there. So if you're new to the keyboard layout, this will be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. If you're a piano player or a keyboard player, you already know that, so I'm talking to the converted on that. A pentatonic scale, if you're not aware, is the first, second, third, no number four note there, five and six. So letter names are C, D, E, G and A. So now let's play those notes, and I'm just using the saxophone sound. So we could play those up and down, and I advise you do that. So we could go all the way up. Okay, traditionally when you would play that on the piano, you would have a gap and you would go. That's the traditional way of playing it on the piano. I feel that maybe some other fingering could be applied. So you may even go. So there I'm going one, two, three, two, three a lot. So you see how I'm nipping around there. Now what sort of uh, what sort of technique am I using? Don't like the word technique, let's say gadget. Uh, so and basically when you think about it, when you play this kind of instrument, there's various uh, tech there's various body movements you're making when you play. Uh, so when you play a note, I'm actually like bouncing a, a ball, like a tennis ball. I'm moving my arm up and down. So it's making this kind of movement. Now, that's really important. Now I suggest you do that rather than just being a finger movement like that. Look, I'm just moving my finger there like that. But if you move your, your whole arm, then you get a much more fluid uh, sound and much more control. So then when I'm playing, because because the seaboard has five uh, degrees of touch, you can get away there, which the release gives you a different tone, maybe not so much on this saxophone, but on some of the other instruments it does. So, so if I'm now playing that pentatonic, I would really recommend feeling that you're using a gesture from above like bouncing a ball and the other most important technique I'm using to play fast <laughs> is something called rotation so yeah rotation really important any 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 pro piano player uses rotation a lot when they're playing it really is very important uh, to get around the the piano or in this case the seaboard very fluently. So here's my hand and here's my notes. Now you can see there those fingers will eventually tire. Let's say I was playing the notes C and G just like that. C, G, C, G, C, G, C, G. But if I rock the wrist what happens is as you can see here as I rotate the wrist this big muscle, this is the biggest muscle in the arm down here. This here, look at that, that's moving it. Now that's driving it. So if I can use rotation like that can't rotate a chord, but if you're playing a melodic line, using rotation, using the most powerful thing in the body here, your top arm, means that you can play more effectively and faster. So when I'm using this pentatonic scale, I'm nipping around with a very loose control above here. Now this is really important, and I found, having played the Seaboard block, uh, that this is a really effective way to play, using the rotation, rotating the wrist, which means I have control from above so that I can play faster passages. So it's a really important tip and a must, um, a must use gadget to play super fast. So let's just say we had the notes of the pentatonic scale of the D and the C.
That, that was finger movement, but if I can rotate, as I've just shown you, and rotate my whole arm, that way I'm rotating, so that means... I can get round the keyboard a lot faster. So rotation is my top tip on this video that if I was using the using a guitar overdrive sound for example so I would use rotation let's go back to the pentatonic <laughs> <laughs> 